Welcome to the U.S. Open Bank Pool Championships for 2019, presented by Q Sports International, being held at Griff's Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is George Teixeira, joined in the booth by Ben Sutherland. Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And here we are. This is a fourth round, one lost side match. Fifth round, one lost side match. Mm, you're a little ahead of me there. <laughs> While you're looking at that, I will just let everybody at home know what's going on here. We've got Gary Lutman versus Mark Vidal. Gary is actually the manager of Griff's here. Had a second or third place finish, excuse third me, last year in this also. event. And he actually just took out Neil Jacobs, who Ooh. got second place last year. Gary lives here. Mark Vidal lives in Denver, Denver uh, Colorado. He's a... Uh, has dual citizenship, he's from Spain. Uh, about a 726, 725 Fargo. Yeah, right in there. And uh, oh, Gary's Fargo is, is up, not, it's not up in the 700s, is it? He's about 680 or so. I can actually give you a, yeah. give you an exact number here Outside. in just a moment. Yeah, uh, Mark is 725. Um, he's had uh, some decent finishes here and there. He's a, he's a strong regional player. He, Wins just about everything in the Denver area, but uh, when he gets up here with the with the big boys, he seems to falter a little, and that's those are his own words. And I spoke with him. Uh, he sells tables tables for Diamond, and he's married, has two daughters, five and seven, uh, and he's 43 years old. Gary has a 683 Fargo rate. Oh, whoa! So about a 40, 50 point difference. Yeah, but uh, as we know, if he finished third last year, he can play with the big boys. Yeah, he's, for those that don't know Gary, he is an excellent, excellent bank pool player. It's his favorite game, I do believe. Mm -hmm. And he's a bit of a, I don't want to say action junkie, but he loves the action. <laughs> he's, he is. Well, he lives in Vegas for a reason, right? Yeah. Uh, works in a pool room for a reason, too. <laughs> yeah, Gary won his first match versus... Uh, uh, Chris Adams, then he uh, was torpedoed. Torpedoed, I was waiting for it. 4-0. <laughs> that was a 14-minute match from what uh, yeah. we were told. Then he had a bye, then he beats Joel Peck, same player that Mitch Ellerman beat. Uh, then he uh, just got done uh, winning uh, over Neil Jacobs. I I'm trying to see if they've updated the the bracket so I can get the score from that uh, from that match. Uh, no, they haven't updated the bracket, so I can't give you the score uh, from that match. Uh, it was a long match. It took a while, and it was very well played from what I from what I gathered from the spectators. Yeah, we heard that yeah. Gary hit a couple of four rail bank shots in yes, the last rack. Yes, and in fact, while we were on the stream in the last match. I asked Ben uh, who, he, who he liked uh, coming into this match, who would be playing in it, and he did not want to give me an answer, and I actually favored uh, Neil Jacobs over him. And 10 minutes later, he comes <laughs> over and says, I just won the match. <laughs> Take that, boys. Actually, I saw him shaking hands, and uh, I said, well, uh, got that one wrong. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> Mark, we, uh, Mark Vidal, we watched him play. Uh, he had a bye. He beat Michael Dunn four games to one. He lost to Warren Kiampko four games to two. No shame in that. No. And uh, Warren's been playing pretty darn good. Then he uh, he, defeat, he defeated Ian Costello. And here we are in this match. Gary Lutman. And this is actually a... Fifth round, one lost side match. I don't like calling it a loser's match, <laughs> loser's bracket. B-side so or one loss. B-side is one loss. I, I don't really care for the, you know, sometimes some people wonder what you're saying when you say left side of the bracket. Uh, Oftentimes I'll say back side. Back side, that's, but uh, I'd rather just say a one loss side. It's too long. B-side's faster, <laughs> uh, What's your back hurry? side's faster. You got a plane to catch? Uh, we got words to mince. <laughs> <laughs> good. good containing safety there. Mm. 
ton of distance. Cue ball up table. Nothing too aggressive for Mark to attack here. I hear him call safe. He call safe. I thought that's what I heard. Yes. Same containing, but he's going to give up. No, the two balls going to go over far enough where he. No, he does have a shot on the two. Oh, Gary's he's got a stick. better shot on the nine. Gary's. Oh yeah, I like the nine yeah. better now that you pointed that one out. Now that I saw him shooting it, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know uh, Gary likes the straight back and he likes to stiffen shots up, so that two ball wouldn't surprise me if you attacked there as well. Ooh. Yeah, these tables are tightening up. You can see the progression little by little. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, that probably would have slid in. Yeah, we saw a couple that yeah. that worked their way in that typically wouldn't once the tables are broken in. I do have uh, a shot. Oh, he held some it up. New Simonis 860HR cloth. One of our feature sponsors. If you look across the top of your screen, the graphic yeah. actually. Jay Helfert, Griffs, Cyclop, Kamui. Predator, Simonis, JB Cases, and Discount Custom Apparel. Uh, visit their sites. They're kind enough to sponsor us for these tournaments. Yeah, huge thank you to those folks. Big personal special thank you to Jay Helfert for his contribution and mm -hmm. adding, adding some funds to the payouts. Is he either banking the eight ball or is he banking the two ball? Right here, one rail. He's banking the two ball, one rail. Eight ball. Oh, the eight ball. Watch outside. Not quite. <laughs> That's what I say. Just kidding. <laughs> You guys on the stream, I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, Shane Van Boning, Billy Thorpe match. Oh, that was, that was quite exciting. That Quick. was a great match. So now Billy Thorpe will meet um, John Mora in the hot seat match tomorrow at uh, noon. Hi. Noon. That'll be our first feature match tomorrow. Feature match. For those of you that sleep late on Sunday, guess what? Get up. Not too late. <laughs> get her done and get up to this computer. Watching Billy Bank uh, is a pleasure. It really is. Yeah, he just. And watching Shane is no disappointment either. <laughs> it was it was fun to watch the yes. the contrast in styles too. We saw mm -hmm. Shane play a lot of shots pocket speed, and we saw the majority of the banks from from Billy coming in at light speed. So it's it's nice to see two different extremely effective and productive styles of play mm -hmm. uh, facing off against each other. And those two are close friends as well. Moscone Cup partners. They mm -hmm. travel together. They they do a lot together. So. I wonder if they fish together. I don't know. I don't think Billy's I haven't seen fishing, any pictures huh? or anything. Oh, Billy with, fishing? With, I, you know, it wouldn't be su I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I know he's a, he loves the outdoors. He's got a nice big truck that, you know, a big diesel. I can't remember what, what it is, but it's a real nice truck. Mm -hmm. He seems to like the outdoors. It wouldn't surprise me one bit if he was okay. into fishing. Okay. I just haven't seen any pictures or posts Well, I about just don't it. picture too many guys from Dayton, Ohio fishing. I don't know. Is he still living there? You don't know. Take a look here and find out. Meanwhile, Mark's taking dead aim here. He's ahead two balls to zero. I believe he's, he's left the nine ball, coming straight back. I believe Billy is from a town called Trotwood, Ohio. Then he's got to be a fisherman if it's trout wood. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> trot, not trout, but oh, trot. Yeah, trot. it's very close. Oh, so he you know, rides horses. Good. <laughs> that would be outdoorsy. Yeah, it would be. And he looks like he's playing the nine ball straight back. Successfully. Dunk. Hello, two ball. Yep. The blue two, right where he called it. 
upper corner pocket on the right side. Hard to figure out from here, isn't it? <laughs> wow, nice well shot. Done. Held Whitey right there and uh, sneaked it by. Now Back cut to five. Now it's time to think. He said he safe. Plays safe. He's going to uh, bank the five to about the center of the table on the head ra on the bottom rail there, and the cue ball up to the middle. There you go. Now he's left the shot on. No, he hasn't left the shot. He has left the shot on the four ball in the upper left. Oof. And uh, lost Whitey. Gary gets a ball in hand behind the line. He'll line up on this five ball. Mark seems to be playing at a little quicker pace than I typically see him playing at. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A couple times that we've run into each other at eight ball tournaments, he plays a little bit slower than this. Oh, look at Mr. Lutman. Uh oh, cue ball. Slow down. Uh, pocket and go up. There you go. Hit that. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, not. Yes, it did. Wow. Yes, it didn't. That's, just, wow. that's such a sick feeling yeah, when you walk is. away from that. You see something like that, and you just want to get sick. It, 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 it's such a... Uh, rolls like that just drive me crazy. Look at this liner. You'll just leave the cue ball right on top of the one. Just like that. The four right back in line. Yeah, he want to leave the cue ball in the middle of the table. No bank shots. Hello. And he'll just go off the one, go two rails up on top or right again. Same right thing. Right, same thing. But he might not get a rail there. Yeah, he didn't That's, take into consideration the gaps between yeah, those there balls. There was a exactly. lot of energy lost. That's why I like going off the ball and going two rails to the, to the head rail. And look, to the cue ball. he has to spot the three between the five and four. That's funny. Again, Gary will try to be to the center of the table. Well, no center of the table. This, uh, will he bother uh, attempting this four ball two rails? I don't think he can go one at it. I don't see too much of a shot other than that. Yeah, look at him to thin something and come up table. Mm -hmm. really doesn't matter which one. It's gonna go right back where it just came from. That's, I didn't think of making the ball. You know, just he wants to hit one and open, but he wants to get a ball out. Yeah, I think I would both players ball. are waiting for yeah. the other one to slip exactly. just a little bit. So right there, I thought would have been a good opportunity to leave the ball out where he might, you know, leave a low percent, real low percentage bank, but he breaks the balls open. If he chooses to take it, well, hello. Gary looking to thin the top there side of the that's what That's just what I thought he would shoot. See, that's exactly that because if he chooses to bank the one, he opens up the balls mm -hmm. and the cue ball stays. He'll just go off the one and take the cue ball right back up where he's at again. Oh, he went this way. Look, same thing. It works. We got a chess match going on here. Yeah, you're going to have it for a couple more shots unless one of them wants to open them up and take a chance. Oh, he's going to, this is the guy that's going to do it. He just called the eight? Yes, he just called uh, the eight ball. Called something? Yeah. I don't think he'd that. shoot the one from there. We can, but eight balls easier. That's it. Now you got an open. Uh oh, he's gonna he's gonna get real fortunate, leaving right in the middle. And lucky not to sell out a bank on the eight yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. But he sold the straight back on the six. Held it too much. As soon as he hit it, he started leaning, didn't he? Yep, the <laughs> he body English. Needed, yeah, the body English. He, he knew that he, he had some hold up on it and was kind of leaning for it. Corner pocket. Cross corner. Nice shot, Gary. Gary has a little more movement in his body than you typically see. Yes, it can. But he is very effective with it. He comes right up at the end of the stroke. Draw side. Four balls just needs this one. And he 
got it. Just like that. Game number one goes to Mr. Lutman. Very impressive run there, Gary. Mark had an opportunity or two there. Just couldn't quite capitalize. Yeah, for those of you who don't know it, Gary Lutman manages Griff's Billiards here in lovely Las Vegas. Comes in in the morning, has a nice breakfast. Breaking with a Predator BK Rush, one of our feature sponsors. Ball down, he will stay at the table. And uh, what's he gonna shoot here, the one ball? Or the four ball? Mm. He has two pockets for the one. He can play the lower right-hand corner or he can play the upper left-hand corner. I don't see much else unless he chooses to hold up that four ball. And that's what he's chosen. I just feel like there's a potential for scratch on this type of shot. And is that the one you were talking about? No, it wasn't, <laughs> but... <laughs> see it. I was looking at the six ball. Whoa. Oh. Oh, hello, one ball. Yep. And then seven ball. I guess if I had to pick a bank shot, I'd pick this one mm -hmm. for the cash. If they said this is, you have to make this shot or make a shot, what bank shot do you want to shoot? I think that's the one I'd uh, That's the one there. Choose right there. You're not going to go for some four or five, really? No. Not unless it's worth like ten times more. <laughs> but I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the, the the high percentage over a low percentage, even though there's more more uh, ooh more to gain by the low percentage. There's time to take low percentage shots, but when you stand and make let's say you shoot that for whatever and take the easy pickings. They add up. I hate the gamble. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second or third ball that uh, Mark has shortened up too much. Uh huh. It's a Gary probably probably wants to shoot that seven ball, but it's a possible kiss and the uh, well the four ball's out. If he misses, if he hits, kisses it off the four, it's he's going to miss anyway. Cross the seven under the deuce. Nice shot. Very nice. This guy's got some bank and firepower. Yes, now the eight ball. Might end up with position for the six next, or the deuce. Now he's got to make the, actually he had position for the nine, five, six. He has some choices, some options. Mark needs to make some balls. Yeah, I like making the four here. If he can, if not, the five's good too. The five. Yeah, like you said, he, he, he stiffed up some balls and played them short, and that one he just kept it short too. Yeah. Didn't open it up at all. Is he going for this two ball or the six ball? Six ball might not cross. He's playing the two. That crossed nicely. Yes, it did. And does he play the five or the six? I think he plays He's the looking six, six all the way. I don't know. That five ball's pretty delicious. To the other side? Yeah, to the other side. I feel like I might hit the point. It's close. He may not need to worry about it, though. He makes this ball. He should have one on the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he is looking at the five. Hello. Good call. Yeah, but he's too far up now with the cue ball. Where he was before, 
was nice. And here it's not so nice. He nice. can't get the cue ball out of the way. We may see him cross the nine if he doesn't like that five. Yeah. He could also do, you know, three rails on the three eight rails. into the mm -hmm. side. He's it's called it rails. there. Yep. There it is. You said three rails? I, I hope he hits this because this is going to be super cool to watch. This is a pretty shot. This is a real pretty shot. doesn't come up a whole lot. Yeah, see that. And that's, that's that happens a lot, that too. Happens, exactly. It's tough to call it. Do you want to call it two or do you want to call it three? Because it's. I, what I do is I call it three and I open it up more. Mm -hmm. I go more away from the pocket. That's smart. It's just because it, it, it I, I don't know if you want to call it a self correcting, self. Uh, the English just mm -hmm. seems to carry the ball right into the line. And it's tougher to uh, ball. hit that two rater so accurately. But there's no doubt here. I like his, oh, I thought he made that ball. My, my, my. Well, four ball now. I think a four ball goes to the lower left as you view the screen. That's what he's calling. Can you reach it? Yes, he can. There we go. Nice shot. Well, there's a, another country you heard from. Spain, I believe. Yep. Mark has dual citizenship, uh, U.S. and Spanish. Denver, Colorado, by way of Spain. España. I actually had the pleasure of That's speaking to him in Spanish a little bit. Yep. Oh, I just I, I love speaking to Spanish people that are from Spain. Their accent is so pure. It's just. Do you uh, speak it fluently? Yes. In fact, I've uh, I've traveled to Spain a couple of times with my son. Awesome. Just totally enjoyed it. Loved it. Went into France, didn't like it. Went into Portugal, didn't like it. No. <laughs> I liked sure everything about there, but I I felt lost because I didn't speak the language. Oh, yeah. Know, when I was right at home in Spain. It'd be tough to be in another country and not have anyone uh, around you that exactly. understands you. Yeah. I spent a lot of time on a translation oh app. Oh my, what a shot. Wow. What a nice shot there. 2-0, Gary Lutman over Mark Vidal. Mark seems a little um, frustrated. I don't know if it's frustrated, but uh, intent. Intentional, I guess you might say. Folks, we got a lot of pool for you here at, uh, at Griff's coming up, at, uh, in Vegas coming up. You have the BCA Pool League World Championships, the USA Pool League World National Championships, the 17th and the 20, through the 27th of July. That's and at the Rio. That's at the Rio. Uh, and then you have the Diamond Las Vegas Nine Ball Open, 25,000 added, 128 player limit, 275 entry, playing on nine foot diamonds, July 17th through the 20th. Right after that is the Predator World 10-Ball Championships. First time that's happened in the U.S. You can, uh, Q Sports International in conjunction with and partnered with Predator it has a $100,000 added tournament. Ooh. Invitational, 64 players. July 22nd through the 26th. It's guaranteed to pay off 32 of the 64 players. Wow. That's going to be an awesome yeah. event. That's at the Rio as well. That's at the Rio as well, yes. And it'll be in a Predator arena. Uh, and then in August, the 8th through the 10th, we're back to the U.S. Open 10-Ball Championships. And then the 11th through the 13th of August, the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships, that week long of U.S. Open tournaments. There's a lot coming up in this town. There's a lot coming up. A lot of pool here in Vegas. Might as well just get an apartment. Yeah, I was just going to say, just come out and yeah. stay for the summer. Rent, I'm going to rent an apartment for uh, for July, I guess, through August. You can stay at my house. i got a guest room for you, George. Oh, how nice. <laughs> I don't do dishes. That's all right. I do. <laughs> I'm a neat freak. Are you? Yeah, I do dishes two, three times a day. You and my Even wife. If there aren't get, any. You and my wife would get along real well. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this because it might come back to bite me later. <laughs> My wife actually calls me the Monica of the relationship. The um, we used to watch Friends a lot. Right. And, you know, Monica and Joey. Uh, is it Joey? Or Chandler. I'm sorry. Monica and Chandler. Chandler Bing. Um, anyway, Chandler was a little bit of a slob. Monica was always the, the one 
lifting up your soda can and putting a coaster underneath it if you set it on the coffee table. That's me. My oh, wife will yeah. come home and with a drink and set it on the table. I pick it up and put it on a coaster. I don't okay, know why. I, just I, I like things nice and neat. I like everything in this place, you know, at the end of the day. I like it in its place all day. Yeah, no, I I don't have I don't want to have to worry about a couple of drops in the sink and they have to be <laughs> swept up or yep. mopped up. Uh oh. This might be something up. Oh. Ooh. So we've Not seen the best of rolls. Two or three scratches pocket, now yeah? from Mark. Those can be costly. Does he shoot the five or does he shoot the one? Or the nine? I think you shoot the nine and play shape on the one. I like it. He's going to be doing. Yeah, stop the ball dead. Line up and try to stop that ball dead. That's even better. Yes. Roll it, just stun it in an well, inch or two. That inch or two difference. That inch or two difference, though, uh, takes away, takes the five ball away now because now he's got to go into the five. And had he given himself another I shot like that. He has to go into oh, it. Oh, he yeah. came back. But look at this angle on the five. Eh, that's all right. It's tough. This, this could double kiss. So he's not even going to play. He's going to play safe. Yeah, that was a that could double kiss. Very yeah. Easy. I wondered if maybe he'd get real crazy and try to bank it between the two and the three to the lower left. I don't even know if there's room for it, but it'd oh. be a really cool shot to see. It's not a high percentage shot. Well, these guys will usually stick with high percentage shots. Did he call that up in the he upper did. pocket? He did, wow. yeah. He called the five. That was rather ambitious. Yes. It opened hello up. Hello, two ball. He's, I, I guess he's feeling a little desperate to take yeah. a shot like that. Yeah. Trying to get a confidence boost, I think. Yeah, but that's an extremely low percentage shot and uh, with, with, with very little reward and a lot of risk. Yeah. He's given up. You know, he gave up a pretty good shot. Five ball. Well, Mark's got some options here. Yep, he's calling the five. Two balls a piece. They both need three. No. No. Nope. Uh, Gary's going to cross this three ball or play the eight. Almost like oh, the two. Oh, like the two. Yeah, you got kind of like gotta like the two also. But again, I think he's, he's going to run. In, he's, oh, he's going to. I think he's going to draw and just eight, just yeah. miss the eight and then play the the three to the upper left as you view the screen. Hello. Here's what he needs. Oh, he's playing the eight instead. I like the eight. And the five is next if he makes it. Oh, no, the six is next if he makes it. Stop the ball dead. Yeah. Nicely done. I thought he would run, run the ball down. Watch out for that side pocket. That shot. Oh, that's awful close. <laughs> Gary's a machine right now, isn't yes, he? Yes, he is. Uh, somebody is a little on the comfortable side of the table. Yes, sir. You know, there's the tentative side of the table. There's the downright scared side of the table. There's the frustrated side of the table. And then there's the comfortable side of the table. The comfortable side is where you want to be. Oh, yes. And Gary is right in the middle of it. When a strong player gets comfortable, they are so dangerous. Because they feel the shot, they feel at home, mm -hmm. they feel at ease. It, it's almost like they're practicing, and that's what he's made it look like so far. That game, he made it look like he was practicing. So rack number four, Gary Lutman to break, leading three zero. I don't hear anything falling. No. Well, Mark sees the one ball and. Uh, Sees the one ball, and he uh, <laughs> sees the one ball. <laughs> That's all there is. But that could be a good starting point. He missed it. He's not himself right now. And now I think uh, Gary sees the one ball or the five ball. Gary's uh, smelling blood in the water, too. Mm -hmm. And actually, the five ball, the seven's in the way. 
So he sees the one ball and the one ball also. Mm -hmm. Does he cross it or hold it? Crossed it. Whew. Boy, he left that cue ball around, didn't he? Flirting with it. Yeah, he was hanging around that pocket. Don't kiss me in. Is that a song by the Beatles? I'm not sure. <laughs> I was never a huge Beatles fan. I was. <laughs> the seven ball here, I think. There we go. That one, he's stiffened up nicely. Nice little confidence booster. Here comes this one. Can he cross the nine? It's. I think that's what he's looking at tight. now. It's tight. Yeah, I don't know. I it's think the two ball tight. might be just a little too high. No, I think I think it clears the two. It's tight. Six. Oh, well, the six ball think, passes the eight. I think this is his best shot. shot. That's that's a Hello, five ball. If, you, if the nine ball crosses, here's a good time to cross it right here. Off the four, maybe. He's going to make it, but it ain't going to count. Well, he netted two. Pocketed three, netted two. Yep. So let's see what, uh, what Mr. Lutman could put together here. That nine ball you were talking about. Yeah, it's funny, all seven balls are wide open, but there's not a whole lot to shoot. on offer. Seven. Back where he, back on right there and yeah. back in the corner. I don't like this shot because of where the cue ball is going. Plays it with a little low left and comes yeah. down by the eight maybe. Yeah, there's a pocket down there on the bottom. Kind of like there. The one he almost found with the seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so again, if that nine goes, I think now's a yeah. good time to do it. It, it, real. Just, both of them looked at it, so I don't know that that that, um, that it's it, it's on. It's calling the uh, eight two rails on the side. That's a nice shot. Isn't this what we were playing around with a little yep, bit ago? Yeah, sure is. Ben and I were hitting this around on the on the table. And guess what? It wouldn't go. Oh, I'm sorry, we couldn't make it. Yeah, it goes. There's <laughs> just we're not. That's right. That's a little out of our realm. <laughs> Here's your four ball back cut. And same thing on the one ball, or will you shoot the seven? Seven ball it seven is. Seven it is. Yeah, that one ball is uh, not a back cut. I'm not sure you can get the cue ball out of the way. That one is pretty nice. Cue ball should slow down. Now he's got a back cut on the one. Just that one inch difference on yeah. the angle yeah. makes Couple a inches. world of difference. Big, big difference. And he just hit this with English. He got too much of it. That's yeah. tough to do from that. From there. Three ball or the eight ball. Or I think the one ball's a uh, candidate also. He's got choices. I think this is his best one. And he opened it up too much. Yeah, I don't like how soft he played that ball. No. I'm surprised he played it that way because he's actually left a nice eight ball or a nice nine ball. He's playing the nine here. Mm -hmm. Load up with inside. Great shot. I think you can cross the eight. You have to spin it quite a bit. That's what he's calling. Yeah. He's got, he's using the other English. Nice shot. Boy. 
Gary is Gary's, not playing around, Gary's folks. Gary's putting the beat down on Mark here. He says, I smell money. Coming back to him. Oh, he made this ball. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that would turn right in. Well, hello, one ball. Mark should shoot this one. Straight back. Ouch. Yeah, that stings a little. You now what stings, he's giving up a shot on the, on the three. On the one, excuse me, in, in the corner. Cross side. Yeah, cross side. too much. He overcooked it. Yes, he did. And here's another it. straight back to the corner pocket. At the bottom there. Well, where do we go here? We're going to see a three railer. Yep. On the one ball. I'll play one rail. Ooh. I thought for sure he'd go three. One's higher percentage. Simple. <laughs> yeah, but he had, he had a couple four railers to close out his last match. That's he's, right. He's up, right. He's he up three nothing that. this match. He's wouldn't I wouldn't have put it past him to to play the three railer. Uh, he went for the dough and he got it. Gary Lutman, very 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 impressive match. Four zero. Four zero win over Mark Vidal. And I don't think Mark had more than two or three balls in any of the games. Yeah, I think you're right. He struggled a little bit. He did yes, have he some did. opportunities, he but he did. Gary just overpowered him. Yeah, he wasn't the same Mark we saw in other matches. No, he wasn't. Well, folks, see you tomorrow at noon. Yeah, we'll be back at noon tomorrow. We're going to have Billy Thorpe versus John Mora for our hot seat match at noon. I'm Ben Sutherland. I'm joined with Mitch Ellerman and George Teachea today. Thank you, folks, for tuning in. We will see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana.